I think a lot of uh, kids and um, having grown up as well, uh, there have been a lot of questions in my head in terms of um, myself, uh, my capabilities and my abilities. Um, something called self-doubt is definitely something that has, um, has been um, an issue that I have probably faced and overcome. Um, but I would also like to know what your view on this is. How does one overcome self-doubt, especially as a youngster? Namaskaram, Regina. I'm glad you're growing up, huh? <laughs> I know everybody is telling you, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. I would say, please doubt yourself. Whatever is going right or wrong in your life, first thing is to see, maybe it's me who caused this. Look at it carefully, if it's not you, then we look at others. The so-called confident idiots are stepping on everybody's everything and walking. Self-belief or any kind of belief, will bring you confidence without clarity. The level of damage that's happened to this planet and to life around us, everything is because confidence without clarity. If you had little doubt about what you're doing, you would think ten times before you do something, isn't it? And that would be a sensible world. I want everybody to have some self-doubt. Anyway, coming to physiological and psychological growth, when we say growing up, there are many dimensions to a human being. There's physiological growth, there's psychological growth, there is emotional and other dimensions of growth in a human being. Most of the time, we measure growth physiologically and the next possibility is psychologically. See, body is a… a very tangible element. So it grows at a certain pace. In some people's mildly faster or slower, but it grows at a certain pace. But the psychological dimension of who you are is not such a tangible process. It's an intangible process, more flexible, more mobile or nebulous. So it should be able to grow well ahead of your physiological process. If growth pangs, if people are having, it is mainly because their psychological growth is not one step at least ahead of their physiological growth. So, though the same things have happened to trillions of people on this planet forever, still it looks like it's happening for the first time in the universe and they're surprised and they're shocked and many things. This is just because their psychological growth is behind their physiological growth. This is very important. In a society, we create a situation where every child is psychologically at least one step ahead of their physiological growth. If you do just… just this one thing in your life, you will see whether it is adolescence or middle age or old age, you will not be surprised by anything. You know how to deal with it, you know how to handle it and there will be no shocks and upheavals in your life for simple processes. Right now people are living in such a way that uh, toddlers are having diaper problems, teenagers are having hormonal issues, middle-aged people have having middle-age… Uh, what is that? Middle-age crisis. Old age, of course, people are suffering. Tell me one dimension of life people are not seeing as a problem. Life is not a problem, life is a certain process. The question is only, have you prepared yourself for the process or not?